Uh, good morning. Uh, many of you are halfway through your first week here at Greendale, and uh, as your dean, <laughs> I thought I would share a few thoughts of wisdom and inspiration. What is community college? Well, you've heard all kinds of things. You've heard it's loser college for remedial teens, 20-something dropouts, middle-aged divorcees, and old people keeping their minds active as they circle the drain of eternity. That's what you've heard. However, I wish you luck. Okay, you know, uh-oh. Okay, there's more to this speech. There's actually a middle card that is missing. Can we all look around our immediate areas? Because I really wanted to. I'm only half Arabic, actually. My dad is Palestinian. I mean, he's a US citizen. He's not a threat to national security or anything. A lot of people want to know that after they meet him because he has an angry energy. But not like angry at America, just angry at my mom for leaving him. Although she did leave because he was angry and he was angry because she's American. My name's Abed, by the way. Abed, uh, nice to know you and then meet you in that order. Now, about that question that I had? Oh, uh, five after 11, when you asked. Abed. Yeah. What's the deal with the hot girl from Spanish class? I can't find a road in there. Well, I only talked to her once while she was borrowing a pencil, but her name is Britta. She's 28, birthday in October. She has two older brothers, and one of them works with children who have a disorder I might want to look up. Oh, and she thinks she's going to flunk tomorrow's test, so she really needs to focus, and she's sorry if that makes her seem cold. Holy crap. Abed, I see your value now. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Jeff Winger. Genius at law. You gotta stop saying that. I will never do that. Sit down. Sit down. So, what is my lawyer doing here? I'm a student. Well, that cannot be an inspiring journey. Uh, I I am in a bit of a jam. The the state bar has suspended my license. Uh, they found out my college degree was less than legitimate. Well, I thought you had a bachelor's from Columbia. And now I have to get one from America. Ooh. And it can't be an email attachment. Well, you picked a fine school. Yes, and I'm hoping that our friendship will yield certain advantages. Mm -hmm. You know, academic guidance, yes. moral support, every answer to every test for every one of the classes that I'm taking. Uh, here's my schedule. Oh, now, Jeff, just by asking that, you have, you have insulted the integrity of this entire institution. Oi! <laughs> Waster! Not a bathroom! Not, not a bathroom. Okay, Duncan, you did seem less into integrity the day that I convinced 12 of your peers that when you made that U-turn on the freeway and tried to order chalupas from the emergency call box, that your only real crime was loving America. I'll look into it. Thank you. Duncan, you are a good man. Jeff, are you familiar with the adage, cheaters never prosper? No. And if I wanted to learn something, I wouldn't have come to community college. Good afternoon, Greendale Community College. I am your dean with a few corrections to the fall class catalog. Cosmology should be cosmetology. Astrology should be astronomy. And uh, the students on the cover should be smiling, but I suppose that's a matter of opinion. Whoever is growing a small patch of cannabis behind the gymnasium, Congratulations, you have won a cruise. Report to security to claim your tickets. In order to increase awareness of homelessness, security has been given binoculars. In campus news, the debate over our library's PA system continues, with some students suggesting its volume be lowered, while others question its very purpose. More on that story as it unfolds. That dude makes a lot of announcements. I like it. It makes every 10 minutes feel like the beginning of a new scene of a TV show. Of course, the illusion only lasts until someone says something they never say on TV, like how much their life is like TV. There, it's gone. I guess Jeff's running late again. Oh, what a shame. Maybe we should get started on you. Oh, no, no, no. I think we should wait for Jeff before we start studying. But maybe when Jeff gets here, we could talk to him as a group about his tardiness. Oh, come on now. Don't use that word around, eh, Ben? In any case, if you want me to have a chat with Jeff, I'd be happy to do it. We've got a bond going, kind of. Sort of like brothers. I hope your mom didn't make you take baths together, because one of you would have been like 30. <laughs> it's funny. You know, Jeff probably comes late, so he doesn't have to sit through all of your tardiness. Sorry, David. Okay. Well, you guys have some self-respect. You are obsessing over someone who does not give you a second thought. Meanwhile, in Guatemala, journalists are being killed by their own government. Baby, you uh, jumped a column there. What's happening in Guatemala? Nothing. Journalists are being murdered? 
Believe me, every day in that country, people are being killed for speaking out. And the worst part of it is, when it's all over... Spoilers. It's going to be as if it never even happened. Hey, Abed, mm -hmm. real stories, they don't have spoilers. You understand that TV and life are different, right? Hey! hey. <laughs> My lady. My lord. <laughs> hey, baby. Hi, sweetie. You smell nice. Nice vitamin P. Morning, Jeffrey. People were jazzed to see me, too. Yeah. Word them up! Everywhere. <laughs> Good entrance. Just for you. Thank you. Britta? Hey, Jeff. Uh, I think there's something that the group would like to talk to you about. Actually, there's nothing more uh, to say. I was going to draw some nice back. Back. OK, if you're going to study with people, it would be cool of you to show up on time. Oh, were you waiting? No. Yeah. no. I just got here. No. Because you guys usually spend the first 20 minutes talking about your interesting personal lives and your cool emotional problems, and I just feel like I never have anything to offer. Aww. No, no, truth is, my life is emptier than this three-ring binder. Oh, Annie, do you have any Spanish notes that might fit in there? Wow, oh, double space. Thank you. So what's the guy got to do to get a C around here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One line. My name's Jeff. I'm trying to lock down the rest of my schedule before the deadline. I heard this class was a cakewalk. Are you passing it? Do you like Dan Cook? Yeah, he's awesome. So far, so good. Death, so called, is a thing that makes men weep. And yet, a third of life is spent in sleep? Open your textbooks to page 37. Now, close them and throw them away. Throw it away! <laughs> throw it away! For those of you who are new, the motto of this class, Carpe Diem, seize the day! No tests, no papers. You want an A? Live in the moment. Check, Bob. Take off your shoes. Quick, take off your shoes. Everyone, take your shoes off. Throw them away. Throw them across the room over there. Today, we learn to walk. Get up and walk out the door. This day could be your last. You could die in your sleep. You could get hit by a bus. You, that mole is raised and dark. It's not a good combo. You are new. Yes, I am new, but I'll be old too soon. Carpe diem, sir. Carpe diem. <laughs> I like it. Voice command. Voice command. Voice command. Voice command. Voice command. <clears throat> Voice command. Would you please use the buttons? OK, Grandpa. Oh, God bless you, dear. <laughs> What's so funny? You guys, I found it. The ultimate blow-off class. Professor Whitman. He thinks he's in Dead Poet Society. There's no tests, there's no work, it's just day seizing. The deadline to enroll is tomorrow. I suggest you all do it. Well, some of us are here to actually learn things. I'm in. Me too, it sounds educational. I'll do it, I love Robin Williams. Abed? Not a fan, in every movie there's an authority figure that gets mad at him for making people laugh. No, are, are you gonna take the class? Oh, can't. My dad will only pay for classes that will help me run the family restaurant. It's been struggling since 2001. 9-11 was pretty much the 9-11 of the falafel business. So your dad has your whole life planned out for you? Are you even interested in falafel? I'm interested in making movies, but my dad says all media is Western propaganda that negatively stereotypes Arabs. And he should see Aladdin. Jafar was a badass. Yes, he was. Yeah, he was. Abed, hmm. how much does a film class cost? $70. Britta. Jeff. Britta. Isn't Abed's dad a hardcore Muslim? They're not as understanding as Christians. You can get your hair cut off with a salami sword. Surely. That's the most racist thing I've ever heard. Pierce will beat that in one minute. This is really nice of you. The memo says four dreams. Aww. You guys, are we going to study Spanish or keep getting involved in each other's personal lives? 
Hey, Troy sneezes like a girl. And how about I pound you like a boy? That didn't come out right. Why don't you all just leave him alone with his cute little baby sneezes? You're not my mother. She's not? 29 seconds. Before we wrap up, I would like to thank you guys for filling out these anonymous evaluation cards. I found your feedback to be largely constructive and flattering, so gracias on that. De nada. You don't have to sign your name anymore. Got it. But there was one evaluation that was so harsh and hurtful and racist that I took the time personally to analyze that handwriting against past exams. And this particular coward dots her eyes with tiny little circles. That precious and cute. Looks erratic and unstable now. Princess Gringa. Nice day out today, isn't it? Yeah, shoot! You forget something? Yeah, I forgot to stagger the timing of my exit with Shirley's. We both have a class across campus, and I can't go that kind of distance with, ooh, that's nice. That's mean. No. That's not nice. I find Shirley very easy to talk to. And besides, aren't you supposed to have, like, an Olympic gold medal in jibber-jabber? Yeah, but I'm a sprinter. I'm at my best during high-speed bursts of wit. On a Shirley walk, I'd be winded by that stoner tree. Hey, Britta, hi. What's up? Hey, Vaughn, how's it going? No worries. Interesting. Because I might be worried if I was playing hacky sack a decade too late. My class is that way. All right. Well, I just want to point out that we easily walk more than 100 yards with no awkward pauses. And that is the sign of a true friend. So I'm really glad that you're not hitting on me anymore. There's the awkward pause. Ah! Good morning, Greendale Community College. This is your dean reminding you that among your school's prestigious alumni is Mr. Luis Guzman, celebrated actor and model Puerto Rican American. This Friday, we will be dedicating a statue of Guzman and unveiling our brand new school song. So boy, I don't know about you, but this sure feels like a real college to me. Ah, Jeff, Jeff, good morning. Uh, how is student life, my dry witted friend? Probably the same as teacher life, but less tragic because I get to leave. Very dry, very witty, not a great friend. Listen, I wanted to ask you about that young lady in your Spanish class. You know, the blonde with the with the pouty, strident, Cape Blanchett sexuality and the ridiculous name. Britta. <laughs> Imagine living with that. Can you imagine? Unbelievable. Anyway, um, are you to an item? And if so, would that item be impervious to sabotage? You know, you have the savoir-faire of a hyena. How is it that you and James Bond come from the same island? Message received. Uh, I'll just wait for you to finish striking out first. Cheers. Mesh. Faulty Towers. Game over. Have a nice day. Do you think Louis Guzman will ever come to visit a statue? If so, I'd like to ask him about his movie choices, particularly the Carlitos way, the Cowboy way, the hard way, and Q&A. Yeah, Luis Guzman is on a private jet from Hollywood because he can't wait to have that conversation with you. Really? How does he know about me? Because he called me on my cell phone. Why would a movie actor call you? You don't know? No. I'm President Obama's nephew. You never mentioned that. I didn't know if I could trust you. But now it's time to tell you everything, starting with me inventing the Ferrari. So? I guess the cell phone number you put on the study group's contact sheet was fake, which I just learned in the awkward conclusion of a month-long text message affair with a dude from Boulder. Sorry. That's OK. Just give me a real number. I'll cleanse my palate while Kevin rethinks his marriage. I'll give you my number if you promise not to use it in any other context than friendship. Uh, pass. Silencio. Por favor. Starburns. That means you. My name's Alex, dude. Well, maybe you should spend five hours sculpting that in your face. All right. Last night I graded your test. I'm sure you want to know how you did, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not going to tell you until I find out who did this. What is that? It's a tiny piece of paper. OK, that's all it is. Tiny piece of paper containing all the information covered on the test, otherwise known as a crib sheet. Who did it? Huh? Marianne? Grandpa? Jack Hay, Kumar, there's one Asian stereotype that does apply to me. 
Whoever did this insulted my honor. And they've got 24 hours to come forward or Mr. Miyagi here will wax off everyone's score and the whole class gets a Zeta. Except you, Toby. A small fading remnant of a star. A white dwarf. That's right. I use the memory technique. Dwarves hate being called midgets, and midgets are small. And what does a star turn into after it collapses? A movie of the week. A black hole. Right, Troy. You could be an astronomer. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one black hole worth studying. It's called Sagittarius A. It's located in the center of our galaxy, and it has the density of 40 suns. Yeah. Just like my wiener. <laughs> you said wiener, that's funny. Pierce and Troy didn't get along at first, but now they're bonding through mutual adolescence. Shut, Shut up, our head. head. Hi, everybody. <laughs> well, look at this group having some kind of meeting and being so diverse. There is just, boy, there is just one of every kind of you, isn't there? Well, we are missing a pipsqueak, but we don't want one, so beat it. Um, Pierce, that's the dean. Are you kidding? Sorry. Just my luck. It's all right. Don't let me interrupt. Sometimes I just roll around campus like a little football. I can't believe this. Here I am in a random conversation about football, and I'm talking to Troy Barnes, star quarterback from Riverside High. Whoa. <laughs> Troy, did you know that Greendale has a football team? Did you know they had a football? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's very funny, Troy. I was so sorry to hear about your injury, but now that you've recovered, we would love for you to play for the human beings. The team's name is the human beings? Yeah, my idea. It was the uh, Greendale Grizzlies, but I thought that, um, a lot of these students have been called animals their whole lives. Unfortunately, I don't know what to do about the mascot. Oh, well, I can help you with that, Your Honor. I have a wealth of experience in image management, icon development, and Y2K preparedness. Ooh, well, aren't you found money? <laughs> Troy, all of your friends are lining up to turn Greendale around. How about you? Troy isn't interested in football anymore. Getting injured in that keg stand was the best thing that ever happened to him. Whoa, Yoko Ono much? <laughs> Bros before hoes, Troy. <laughs> Listen, man, no offense, but I was the best, and I finished on top. I wouldn't play for this school with a 10-foot pole. Dean, I'm sure Troy will sign up for football if and when some accident damages the part of his brain that feels pride. Until then, would you excuse us? All right, well, uh, if you change your mind, the field is always open. Oh, figuratively speaking. You know, Wednesdays and Sundays, it's used as parking overflow for the mega church. OK. <laughs> Now let's meet the minimum requirements for language credit, shall we? Yes, but I need to go to the bathroom first. Uh, Britta? Oh, no, I don't have to go. I'll go with you. What, she's offended? Girls go in groups. Did you learn nothing from stand-up comedy in the 90s? I'm familiar with the concept. I've just, fine. If it's important to Shirley, I'll go with her next time. I'm willing to try some more mainstream feminine stuff. Well, then you should know that nothing says I'm a woman like doing it with me. Nothing says I'm a pig like you. Will they or won't they? Sexual tension. I'll bet. It makes the group uncomfortable when you talk about us like we're characters in a show you're watching. Well, that's sort of my gimmick. But we did lean on that pretty hard last week. I can lay low for an episode. As you know, all faculty at Greendale are required to give extra credit to students who organize academically related events during what would otherwise be known as our free time. No student in any department has ever exercised this option. Until now. <laughs> Tonight, in the library, I will be hosting a Dia de los Muertos party. Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead is sometimes referred to as Mexican Halloween. Which is actually quite offensive to people familiar with Mexican Halloween as a sexual position. At any rate, if you show up, you get extra credit. Me, I don't even get paid. See you tonight. Espanol. Esta noche. Excellent. Um, <laughs> most of you responded to my evite, but some of you remain evasive, so. Ooh, count me in. This is my first college party. I got some tequila, and I just rented Van Wilder to The Rise of Taj. And look. Shirley, you took off your wedding ring. Yeah, my husband's been gone for six months, so I think it's time for me to embrace being single. Message received. I'm still waiting to hear from Jeff and Pierce. Oh, I thought I shot you a response from this pocket phone here. Access email. 
You're not going to Annie's party? Oh, I have a conflict. It conflicts with the enjoyment of my life. I cannot figure out the voice command part of this thing. It's, uh, it's like I'm my mother. Calling mother. What? Speaking of enjoying life, I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but are you sure you don't see anything non-platonic ever crystallizing between us? I'm sure. OK, good, because one of my professors is really hot, and I wanted to give you first right of refusal. Hello, Pierce. Mom? How's school going? Are you popular? Oh, uh, I, I, I had to throw a tunnel right now. I, I, I'm a wrong number. Has that boy Jeff stopped teasing you? How's your Canadian girlfriend? <laughs> your father's ghost again. He's still angry. So from now on, we'll refer to each other by our Spanish nombres. There will be... What's this? <sighs> Buenos dias, <laughs> winger! <laughs> Oh, class dismissed. Hey. Shirley, look. I'm in his backpack. Mm. Stop it, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> Annie, say there are two friends, and they're in the same class, and one of them wants to ask the other one out on a date, like a grown-up date, but within biking distance of his parents' house. Well, they could do something on campus. Tomorrow, there's a picnic with live music on the East Lawn. They're calling it A Night Under the Stars. Oh, cool. I bet Randy would love that type of thing. Randy? Oh, I thought... Uh... Oh, you thought... I can't believe I misled you like that. Listen, Randy can be the name of a guy or a girl. And in this case, it is definitely a girl. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. And I hate you. And I want to have your children. Damn, I picked the wrong couple to fall out of class this morning. Jeff and Britta are dead air. Are you OK? It looks like you have actual bedhead this morning. In fashion, I'm what's known as a tastemaker. And you missed an entire side of your face shaving. And next month, so will Gwen Stefani. Here comes Vaughn. Bye. Oh, crap. Vaughn? Vaughn. Oh, the guy with the tiny nipples you did it with. Oh, God. Hi, Vaughn. Can we talk sometime? I'm really sorry about how things ended. Yeah, well, I'm sorry that I can't accept your apology because you're toxic, Britta. You know what? You're like, you're like the exact opposite of an antioxidant. Yeah. Shh, I got band practice late. Can't we still be friends? Isn't the word later already short enough? Let me talk to him for you. <laughs> It'd be better if it's man to man. That way we won't be thinking about our chubby thighs or whether or not we can have babies. Don't talk to Vaughn. You know, I'm telling you, your hormones are clouding your... Don't talk to Vaughn. That is girl for talk to Vaughn. Piece of that. Surely. What is he doing? Oh, I know exactly what he's doing. My ex-husband spent four weeks doing that after his innocent mistake of calling me Valerie. That boy's living in his car. <clears throat> so then the guy says to the housekeeper, make sure she's dead. Stop me if you've heard this one before. Would have been nice to have that option 27 minutes ago. The housekeeper says to the guy, we don't have a pool. The guy says... Good morning, Greendale. Just a reminder, our debate team will bring home the championship tomorrow versus City College. Go, human beings! Great. Now I gotta start the whole joke over again. <sighs> okay, so this... No! I've got one for you. A doddering old fool walks into a bar, tells a stupid joke, and I crush his windpipe with my three-ring binder. <laughs> I don't get it. Britta's trying to give up cigarettes. Don't tell them my business. I will slap that smug look right off your pointy face. Britta, I'm saying this because I care about you and you're my friend. 
you need to start smoking again. I really Absolutely. think you should. It, is. it makes you lose weight. Your skin no is really no great when you do smoke. Guys, I really appreciate your support, but I've got to quit this time. Have you thought about hypnotherapy? I know a dynamite hypnotherapist. Ten to one says it's him. His name is Pierce Hawthorne, and I'm very effective. Can you help me block out people's voices I find extremely annoying? <laughs> Jeff, she's right there. Pierce, I would be grateful for your help. You would? Super. I'll set it up. What? I feel bad for him. Plus, I just yelled at him. You yelled at me, too. Oh, did I hurt your feelings, pointy face? Wow. Wow. Have you seen the film department's website? What do you think? All of Abed's films are about us. What? Check it out. What else is new? Jeff! Jeff. Yeah. The law. Jeff, stop being so relaxed. We need to talk to you about We know you're living out of your car. Why on Lord's good earth are you living out of your car, boy? Those people look just like us. That's mm -hmm. eerie. Fine. It's true. I'm living out of my car. And I don't want anyone's help. We had almost that exact conversation last week. Yeah, but Abed posted this video two weeks ago. <gasps> that boy's a soothsayer. This is wrinkling my brain. This is wrinkling my brain. That's wrinkling my brain. Get a load of these wrinkles. <laughs> Who's that old guy? Hi, I'm Chris Arthur. Oh, come on! <sighs> Okay, we can hear me? Okay. Uh, good morning. Uh, I'm here to kick off the first day of a new tradition at our school called Green Week. What? First we give a month of black history, now we're blowing seven days on the Irish. So all this week, Greendale College is becoming so earth smart that we're changing our name to Envirodale. But we're already called Greendale. <laughs> Well, there's um, also going to be a free rock and roll concert by a certain band called Green Day. Huh? That make you happy? Mm -hmm. Well, not really. Okay, we need to redo these. We printed 5,000. We'll print 5,000 more. I'm trying to save the planet here. Pencils down. I want you all to write a one-page essay in Espanol entitled Annie's Mistake. Why doesn't Annie have to write it? Okay, two pages entitled The Consequences of Questioning Authority. Uh, this is Spanish 101. I, I know how to say hello tomorrow on that tables are female. That's the only Spanish you taught us. Oh, six pages on ignorance. Guys, put your hands down. Senior Chang, please continue. We respect your authority. Thank you, Britta. 20 pages on ass kissing, due on Monday. This Monday? So I booked a sketch artist, an improv troupe, and there will be a laser projecting a burning pelvis onto the ceiling. A laser? Well, this isn't going to be your mother's sexually transmitted disease awareness fair. <laughs> <laughs> You've been quite the little helper, Annie. Oh, STD fair, guys. Catch knowledge. You think you're better than me? No. You stick to quote movie lines. I'll stick to sports. I'm trying to reduce my pop cultural referencing. Well, you're not moving into sports. You and I are playing real basketball right now. Sounds fun. No, it doesn't. And it won't be. Catch knowledge. Sorry, not interested in ignoring your very important cause. Hi, I'm Jeff Winger. Oh, Sabrina is my new secretary. <laughs> secretary is a little degrading to women. I hope the dean do office -y things. No, oh, gender saved. Mike. 
casual friend and I are gonna have a non-romantic breakfast if you'd like to join us. Cafeteria is closed while we set up for the fair. Fortune cookie? Isn't it great? Greendale is the latest campus to catch a case of public health fever! <laughs> you know the toilets in the women's bathrooms don't have seats, right? Because they keep getting stolen. Sabrina, take a note. I want hidden cameras in every stall. Problem solved. You will get AIDS. Flip it over. Unless you go to the STD fair. I wrote that. Congratulate horrible. See you later. Catch knowledge. Happy last day before winter break, Greendale. Time to visit our loved ones. Some of you will travel as far as three miles. Don't forget to visit our winter wonderland at the quad, where we're giving away catalogs of next semester's classes. Secular boots on the roof. Oh, well, it must be yet another sign that it tis the season because rumor has it that non denominational Mr. Winter is on his way to the student lounge. Oh. I'm so sick of the dean jamming his PC ness down my throat. Pierce, I'd like to commend you for letting that one go. <laughs> PC ness. Now I guess it sounds like penis. I just got into it. Well, it's still Christmas to all of us, and I made you all a little gift because you're like my new family. WWBJD? If this stands for what would Billy Joel do, I'll tell you right now, he'd write another crappy song. Yeah, in your face, Billy Joel. It stands for what would baby Jesus do, and it's to remind us that the real meaning of this season is Christmas. Oh, well, thank you, Shirley. I'm going to. I'm gonna put that in the pocket closest to my heart. No, 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 it, it's a bracelet. We, you, you put them on. Everybody put them on. Hey! Hey! You took all the winter doodles. What are you, a douchebag? They're for my friends, but there's a lot of other cookies left. No, there's only macadamia nut cookies here, okay? I have a tree nut allergy. And you should probably stay away from Christmas tree-shaped cookies. Ha, ha, That did not even make allergic sense. What are you, an idiot? Okay. We get it. You and the A-team are awesome. Now beat it. Oh, look at that. Pretty boy standing up for bird face over here. Give me a winter doodle. If you're trying to be menacing, maybe don't call the cookie by its name. Oh, you're funny. You're a funny man. Want to hear something funny, funny man? Knock, knock. My fist up your balls. <laughs> Who's there? Oh, oh, oh. Merry happy! This ain't over. There would always be a dean around. All right? Still waiting on those cookies, eh, bed? <laughs> Oh, it's so awesome. Me and Abed played this video game. It is so dope. It's a whole city. You can drive anywhere. You can rent an apartment. You can do your taxes. But don't get audited, because that's bad. You could even enroll in community college. Right now, it sounds as boring as real life, but it is not. Vacations are wasted on the young. You guys got to get out there and see the world at some point, or you're going to miss your entire lives. Where did you go, Britta? Amsterdam, I think. I'll know more when I find my camera. Guess what happened to me? Oh, Pierce, you became a grandfather? No, I became even cooler. These ironic t-shirts are all the rage. Let's get one thing straight. I wish I was still a lawyer. I'm only here because I'm hot for Britta, and I don't want to be anybody's friend. Just kidding. Oh, Bring it in here! You know, I gotta say, I, I took a look back at the guy I was last semester, and I realized that guy was a drag. No. Good to hear you admit it, Jeff. No, the truth is, this is a new semester, a new Jeff. Greendale is where I am, and I am going to make the best of it. That is nice. You're like Hawkeye on MASH. He kept his upbeat humor and charm even in the 11th year of the Korean War. Yeah, well, don't go changing too much, Jeff. I think we all like you just the way you were. Well, I appreciate that, but did you just teleport here? No, I snuck in during the group hug. You guys don't remember me? Buddy from Spanish class? Yeah, it is Buddy oh, from Spanish no, no, no. class. Huh? I've never seen you before in my life. I've seen Buddy before. He sits in the corner next to the dead plant. Thank you, Abed. Sometimes I have a tendency to melt into the background. It's just my body type, but 
I definitely know you guys from watching you all last semester grow together. F. F minus. Did you say S? He said F. Who cheated? I did it. Oh, wow. Greta cheated? Why? Give me back my bra, Annie. I'm not even wearing a bra. Oh. Oh. I don't even care who wins. What? I sleep a lot in class. That one might have been a dream. Well, buddy, as you know, we haven't had Spanish class yet, so this meeting was more just for catching up between friends. I heard that. Let's do it! Well, so maybe... I, uh, <laughs> sorry, Britta. I'll go first. Uh, I'm sure you guys have a natural rapport and timing, and, you know, you're scared that adding a new member might throw everything off of its natural. Before we start, I'd like to have a preliminary powwow or preliminary about what I'm calling our library's backdoor conundrum. Sounds like a porno with Kate Winslet. I bet, ew. The door on that side is locked after five, which means that most of us have to walk all the way around. Now, if we were to move our meetings to 4.30, no. no. I have a regular class at that time. It's like math or other regular classes. Yeah, I have something unimportant that can't ever move. Well, maybe one of us could stand by the back door and let the rest in? Mm, I nominate Pierce. Where is he? I have not seen him around all day. I haven't either. Well, has anyone called him? I did, several times actually, but he never returned my calls. Oh, no. Oh, the last thing I said to him was suck it. Me too. Good morning. <gasps> Oh, my God. You thought I was dead, didn't you? No. I did. Do you people have any idea how emasculating that is? I'm not Mickey Rooney. You don't have to cross your fingers to see if I'll show up. You know, when I was 30, people used to wish that I was dead to my face. That's called respect. Mm -hmm. Who is the lucky brunette? Last name Beeswax, first name Nunia. Oh, my third wife is biracial. Stop it. I am just trying to help keep you out of trouble. What if the next girl saw these? Well, then she would know it was hers. <gasps> Jeff, you're sleeping with a woman you already slept with? Can't I be the friend in the group whose trademark is his well-defined boundaries, like privacy smurf to sweet bear or confidentiality spice? But if you like her, why would you want to keep her a secret? Don't you want us to meet her? We have an agreement to keep it low-key. That's ridiculous. Obviously, it's a guy. You're wrong, Pierce. It's two guys. Sometimes I do wish you were dead. Thank you. Missed you at lunch today. Did you slip out for a cookie with Professor Hot Stuff? Her name is Rochelle, and how did you know? There's a gold star on your fly. Ugh! <laughs> you weren't kidding. You know, it's nice to have a girlfriend with a sense of humor and one who recognizes good work. Life, teach the chords. See, that's G, that's the most important chord. In my mind, it, it stands for God. Why is Annie talking to micro nipples? Fawn? Whatever. But not like a Bible God, because I think that God is in everything. You're complicated. Annie, Annie, where you going today? Spanish class? Spanish, Spanish. You know what I don't get? He never wears a shirt, he never wears shoes. Why hasn't he died from lack of service? You watching another movie in your dorm tonight? Kick Puncher, starring Don the Demon Donaldson as a cyborg cop whose punches have the power of kicks. That sounds awful. I'll bring the popcorn. Cool. Uh, you, you watch bad movies on purpose? Yeah, we make fun of them. Mm. Surely don't embarrass yourself. I'm sure they don't want to invite the housewife. Actually, if she doesn't mind reinforcing the stereotype, I bet Shirley would have fun talking smack at a movie. Care to join us? Usually when the movie's bad, I stop watching, but this sounds college-y. What time do you want to, sir? Pierce, you don't want to watch a cyborg movie in Abed's dorm. You want to lay in your twin bed and think about what you used to be. What? You think I'm too old to make monkey shines at a picture show? Come on, I'm younger than the three of you put together. Hey, Britta. You know, everyone talks about his nipples, but his feet freak me out. Britta! Hey. Hey. Can I ask you something about Vaughn? Oh, yes. I still don't know if that's his first or last name. <laughs> he, he's sweet, actually. I mean, you must have thought so. He has a sincerity I found attractive in a simpler time. <sighs> Would you? Um, I haven't, I mean, we haven't anything. <laughs> I mean, wow, you and Vaughn. Would it bug you? 
Well, what about you and Troy? Troy? The other day after Spanish, I thought he was trying to hold my hand, but he'd just mistaken me for Abed. He'll never think of me that way. Well, Annie, I would have to be a villain to tell you who to date, which I am not. Ah, Britta! <laughs> Thank you. You're the coolest girl I've ever met. Damn right, give me some fivesies. <laughs> Turn it into a snake. It's Valentine's Week, when the Greendale human bean is the Cupid bean, delivering your gift to that special someone. But remember, Cupid's face is magic marker on nylon, so love is not only blind, but also dizzy and a little belligerent. I'm chaperoning tomorrow's dance. You should come. Maybe your study buds will go. What's the blonde's name? Bitter Butter Beetlejuice? Britta, yeah, she says Valentine's Day ritualizes a connection between affection and candy so girls can learn the ropes of prostitution. Translation, no date. I'm gonna join you at that dance. But as a novice boyfriend, can I get a map of the minefield known as women's Valentine expectations? Every day of the year, I want you to do what makes you happy. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be happy spending the night with an insatiable statistics professor. <laughs> Now it has arrows. That's safe. Oh, it's from that cook with the long oh. beard in the cafeteria. I guess when he said, I'm going to get you, um, he's meant chocolates. Oh, a flower from Vaughn. He's away on a vision quest. You got something up it? Another muffin basket from another actress who wants to be in my next film. Does that work? Yep. Meryl Streep has two Oscars because of her baking. Oh, that's sarcasm, but I forgot to inflect. This sounds way more like sarcasm. Inflection is so interesting. That big bag uh, at the bottom, is that for me? Anything in there for Troy? Troy Barnes? Uh, Barnes, comma, Troy? Who cares about getting things? It destroys the true meaning of Valentine's Day, the birth of St. Valentine's. Oh, good. Now it has arrows. That's safe. Sorry I'm late. Okay. Actually, you look very early. Oh, God, I'm really late. Yes, yes you, are. you are. See you later. So late. Sorry, we'll see you later. Can I get you something? Water, smelling salts, an alibi for Cobain's suicide? No, but you can help yourself to a shorter forehead and non keebler nose and shutting up. Hmm, that stings. I mean, not the words, the clouds of bourbon vapor forming them. <laughs> a girlfriend from my anarchist days was in town. We drank. Everything. Yeah. And then you said, I should call Jeff. Yeah. Because the first thing I do when I'm having fun is think about... Jeff Winger, I am calling you. You're probably whatever. So, what's up? The drunk <laughs> dial. So much subtext, so much intrigue, so much of what the kids are calling BCI. That's, uh... Booty call implication. <laughs> uh, what happened to Britta? Justice. Having spent the year denying her attraction to me just to be alternative, Britta called me at 3 a.m. just to ask, what's up? A drunk dial? Was there BCI? Booty call with a capital B. Mm. This can't be good. It's no biggie. We, we give each other crap all the time. Well, that's the point. What crap can she give you now that you hold all the cards? You've shifted the balance, like in a sitcom when one character sees another one naked. Is that really a sitcom staple? No, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm Abed. I never watch TV. Good morning, everybody. Hey, hi, Jeff. I brought bagels. Oh, I would love a bagel. The perfect beginning for my first day of billiards class. Oh, did you pick a special outfit so you can look sexy shooting pool? Surely, I have no idea what you are talking about. Oh! oh. 13. Oh, great. So much for bagels. So much for what? The bagels. You dropped them on the floor. Uh, they're called bagels. Uh, I lived in New York, Troy. I know what a bagel is. 
<laughs> what the hell is wrong with you? What? You say bagel wrong. I say it the same as you. Let's say it again. Bagel. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just keep studying? We're on page 258. What page was that? 258. <laughs> Whoa. Check this out. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a drawing of Ahmed with hearts all around it. Strictly speaking, sure, the Bible condemns this level of friendship. I didn't draw that. I bought that book used. It must have been whoever had it last. Obviously, it's a girl who has a crush on Abed. <gasps> this is so romantic. It's just like the notebook, except instead of Alzheimer's, Abed has <clears throat> someone who likes him. Mm -hmm. Well, whoever she is, she's fat. These thick pencil lines are drawn with a heavy hand. We gotta find this person for Abed. Unless it's a boy, then we have to find them for Jesus. But either way, this is going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> hey, haven't seen you all day. <sighs> I've been really busy, plus I had to find like 30 extra chairs for my classroom since it's family day. Oh, speaking of, I was going to invite my mom so you could meet her, but uh, she still thinks I'm a lawyer. Oh, look, a human being has a little human with it. How blood-curlingly adorable. Jeff, we need to talk. What's wrong? Are you breaking up with me? Oh, <laughs> maybe we don't need to talk. I'm so excited for everybody to meet my sons. I hope they're not twins. Twins freak me out. They always know what the other one is thinking. Yeah. And they're always finishing each other's pie. Exactly. It's creepy. It's going to be nice spending time with them. I don't get to see them that much since I started school. My sister likes to joke that they don't recognize me anymore, and I like to joke that she's just jealous because she's barren. Hmm. My dad's bringing my cousin Abra. She's visiting from Gaza. Does she look like you, but in a wig and lipstick? Mm -hmm. No, that's Haley Berry. Abra wears a full burka in public, so she just looks like someone covered head to toe in black fabric. Can't believe my grandma's rolling her old bones down here. I gotta pick a cabinet to hide in. You hide from her? Yeah. She's crazy. Troy, society programs us to dispose of the elderly because they don't work or buy things, but don't be blind to your grandmother's value. You need to cherish her. You cherish her? I'm sure I will. You know she's not gonna be around forever. I wanna believe you're right, Britta, but you never quite are, are you? Sorry I'm late. Was somebody canoodling with a certain professor? Actually, no. She dumped me. Oh, no. That's so sad. I'll give Jeff a shoulder to cry on, and you boys gonna put a dead bird in that bitch's glove compartment. Got it. Guys, guys, sit. Surely, I don't need to cry. I'm fine. Jeff, we're your friends. Let it all out. There's nothing to let out. I'm just glad I didn't have to do the dumping. I mean, then I'd have to lay low for three weeks to look sensitive and to avoid questions of overlap. But as the dumpy, I can start making out with every girl on campus right now. And all anyone will feel for me is sorry. Ew, not anymore. Your heart's desensitized, Jeff. You're like a machine. It feels no love, just sex. you like the booty nader. You know the booty nader? Like, I'll be back, but with booty? Why would the booty nader be back with booty? Wouldn't he just try and kill it? Well, maybe he kills it, and then he brings it back as a trophy. Why would he want dead booty? I want pirate's booty. Because you're hungry? Guys, I'll be back, but with booty. Ooh, yeah. That's beneath you. Gross. Well, you're too gorgeous to be a teacher, and you're too happy to be a student. Take me to where your car broke down. I'm here for family day. I'm. Looking for my family. Oh, well, I'm sure at the very least I could fill in for a creepy uncle. Jeff. Amber. There she is. Look at you all grown hey. up. <laughs> Jeff, this is uh, my stepdaughter, Amber. Small world. No, actually, it's a very big world with five billion other women in it. <laughs> Good luck. Come on, I'll show you around. <sighs> I'm back. Without booty. Now I feel sorry for you. I had to get up so early for my bus. I caught the tail end of what Cinemax gets up to at night. Subscription canceled. I got that channel for Eddie Murphy movies, not stimulation. Wait, why are you taking the bus? What happened to your minivan? My ex-husband needed it. The person he's dating works at a club. An hour from the city. Oh, well, I'll play a violin for them, and maybe she can strip to it. Kind people are always kind, Britta. Not just when it's easy. As we stand once again upon the deadline to drop our ad classes, I hereby present this semester's Jeff Winger pick for ultimate blow-off class, beginner pottery. I don't know. Your last blow-off class ended up teaching me to live in the moment, which I will always regret and never do again. This one's different. I researched. You don't even have to make a good pot. You get an art credit 
for participation. This class is like a redhead that drinks scotch and loves Die Hard. I suggest you all get her number. Ahoy! Guess which class I signed up for? Singing with Tennille? <laughs> oh, ho, oh, hey. Sailing. But the nearest body of water is two and a half hours away. Leagues, Abed. We don't measure water by hours. It's a one-week intensive that gives you hands-on experience on a real boat right here in the parking lot. I'd rather learn boats than pots. I was going to take a class on how to put together an online dating profile, but I think sailing in the parking lot is less pathetic. A black person on a sailboat? I got to see this. I'm in. How about you, Avid? Want to sail with us? There's black people. All right. Hello, ladies. What you guys making? Big balls here? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. You guys getting dirty? Nice. What are you looking at? <laughs> All right. Hey, Lori Ingalls, Home Depot guy. <laughs> Who's making pots? Huh? Let's participate this thing. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know why you're laughing. I really do want to make my mom an ashtray. <laughs> Hello, my precious blueberries. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's spin those wheels and play with some clay. <laughs> now, there's one and only one rule in this class. I will tolerate no reenacting, whether it's ironic or sincere, of the Patrick Swayze, Demi Moore pottery scene in Ghost. Ever since that movie was released in 1990, I have seen every conceivable variation of what I call ghosting. This could be guy on girl, girl on guy, the hilarious guy on guy. <laughs> <laughs> so since it never stopped, I had to adopt a zero ghost tolerance policy. If you so much as hum three notes from that Righteous Brother song with God as my witness, I will come at you with everything I've got. Okay? Let's have a great time. I'm making falafel. Mm. Not edible. What are you making? A pause. Hey guys, yep. look what I made. Participant badge. I don't know how. I, I mean, I just, I stuck my hands into the clay and it happened. You look at me. You have a gift. Jeff's competitive side had come out before. He had even displayed envy. But on that first day of pottery class, he discovered Robert. that, yeah. What did we discuss? No voiceover, I'm sorry. It is kind of a crutch. Good morning, Greendale. As you know, it is April Fool's Day. Just kidding, it's the day before April Fool's. See what I did there? Baba booey, baba booey, baba booey. You know what, Leonard? Strike two. Anyway, just reminding you to keep any April Fool's pranks physically safe, politically balanced, and racially accessible. When in doubt, check the guidelines in our college pranks literature. Guidelines for school-sanctioned pranks. Oh, reminds me of my favorite college comedy. Oh, uh, which one? Exactly. See, the dean doesn't get it. The point of a practical joke is to shake up the system. For example, who wants some of these? Cool. Yeah. Looking for something? Nice. Oh, they allow student volunteers for campus security during times of heightened shenanigans. Oh. I want to be security. Oh, let's do it together. We can be partners. <gasps> That's a buddy cop movie I would watch. But I wonder which of you would be by the book and which of you would be the badass. <laughs> oh, Abed, you're so silly. <laughs> I'd be the badass. Greetings, mortals. Morning. Snake in a can? Oh, no, thanks. I'm fasting. My Buddhist church is having its annual ascension ceremony, and I will be becoming a level six laser lotus. I know, I'm a speechless too. Anyway, I have to detoxify for the ceremony. I get all the nutrients I need with salt, water, and honey. <laughs> Better if it goes down the, <coughs> the wrong pipe. So, what happens in level six? Well, nobody in my hive has ever seen a six. But uh, from what I hear, I have immunity to germs, and heightened psychic ability, and improved night vision. Any bonuses to your combat score? I assume I'll fight better if I can see more. <laughs> Dumbass. 
Hey, Pierce, I just remembered right before you got here, some guy was delivering level six ceremonial robes. What? Why didn't you tell me? Maybe if you run, you can catch him. Way to use your brain, Winger. Abed, how fast can you run to the theater department? 37 seconds. Don't come back with that something ridiculous. Go. Got it. Guys, you realize you're exploiting the naivete of a man who is being brainwashed by a cult. Oh, well, it sounds a lot less fun when you say it. Everything does. She's a buzzkill. I'm not a buzzkill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that doesn't really describe it. You're more of a fun vampire because you don't suck blood. You just suck. He wasn't there. Oh, I think Abed found him. Hey, give me. <gasps> it's amazing. Wow. It is absolutely gorgeous. How do I look? May I? Yeah. Magical. Great. <laughs> <laughs> the only one who doesn't like this is Britta. You ever get tired of being a buzzkill? I think I'm failing psychopharmacology. Why are you taking that? I thought it was a class about crazy farm animals, OK? Let's finish the unit. I don't want to be late for lunch. Amar is to love, right? Speaking of love, Shirley, how's it going with the sexy dreadlock guy? Oh, I'm, I'm sure I don't have a chance with him. Abed and I talked to him by the vending machines. He asked about you. He specifically asked about me? When Annie brought you up, he specifically asked, who is that? Abed. Oh. What, that's what he said. Hey, Ben, your social skills aren't exactly streets ahead. Know what I mean? I don't. You're not alone in this case. Pierce, stop trying to coin the phrase streets ahead. Trying? <laughs> Coined and minted. Been there, coined that. Streets ahead is verbal wildfire. Does it just mean cool, or is it supposed to be like miles ahead? <sighs> if you have to ask, your street's behind. OK, we can banter if we want to banter, but I'm warning you, I am leaving for lunch early. Me too. Me three. Streets ahead. Man, you guys really love these stupid chicken fingers, huh? Uh, they're not stupid. They're the only good thing in the cafeteria. I haven't had one in weeks. They run out so fast. If God were edible, not that I'm Catholic, but if it was cool to eat God, he'd be a chicken finger. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't know. I'm a vegetarian. Wow. Oh. Shocker. Yeah. And if you guys knew how they treated the animals that you were eating, you would eat them even faster just to put them out of their misery. And then you would throw up. I don't know. Maybe I'm feeling extra protective of animals today because my cat is sick. Oh, oh, my cat. Is That's right. awful. He has diabetes. He can't even make it to the litter box. I'm afraid that I'm going to have to put her to sleep. And... Mm -hmm. ah, go on. God bless you. Say something for me. Hey, Britta. What you going to knit her? Good mood. Bad rhyme, and is that a carb on your plate? I got a B on my nutrition final, and I am celebrating with pie and a dollop of okay. whipped irony. Nice. I'm knitting something for my new cat. It's been two weeks since I lost Susie B, so I figured it was time to move on. Not being an animal lover, I assume it'll be nice to start over with a fresh kitten. Fresh kitten? I go to a shelter and rescue an animal that genuinely needs my help, OK? Why do you think I am knitting a tiny little eye patch? Excuse me. Hi, uh, we're in high school, but we're here taking some classes for college credit. Well, all right. Way to be go-getters. Thanks. So we were we were just wondering, can you tell us exactly what you did in your lives to end up here so that we don't make the same mistakes? <laughs> yeah, because if I end up 35 and celebrating a B in nutrition in community college, I'll kill myself. <laughs> watch it. Yeah, watch it. Oh, or watch, Schmitty. <laughs> are, you gonna, are you gonna knit me something sad in your house full of cats with no furniture? Listen, it is a studio apartment, and knitting is oh. hip. Winona Ryder knits. <laughs> Who? Schmidt! <laughs> Schmidt! <Schmitty. laughs> I have done things with my life. Awesome things. I've been to 14 countries. I helped build a school in Kenya. I once met Sting at a Cracker Barrel. Why are you letting a bunch of teenagers get to you? I don't even remember what they said. It just rolled off my back. Would you stop tuning that guitar? You are 105 years old. Tell me exactly what you did with your life to end up here so I don't make the same mistakes. Excuse me! But it's springtime, and I thought I might woo a few chicks. 
No one to watch while we're kissing. No one to see while we spoon. Let's take a trip in my airship. And we'll visit the man in the moon. Hey, hey, hey! What the hell? Hey, what? What the hell? Sorry. Animal House. A reference my ears applaud. I couldn't resist. Smashing the guitar of someone singing a flowing love song was on my quintessential college experience list. Your what? It's a list of everything that movies have taught me comprises a successful first year at college. Bond with a group of lovable misfits. Check. Take on the school bully. Check. Make out with the hottest girl on campus. Check a Rooney. <laughs> Unfortunately, the school year is almost over and there's a bunch of stuff left on the list. Well, I'll help you finish it. I'll be like your Morgan Freeman. Like in the bucket list. The what? Stand up for a second. Uh, come over here. Stay like. Okay, turn around. Okay. <gasps> <gasps> what the hell? Panting someone was on my list. It would have been better if you were wearing the standard giant hearts on underwear, but I'll take it. Oh, yeah? Well, I hope getting pants is on your list. <laughs> it is. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's so funny? <laughs> this! Get it? Raisins don't belong in the chocolate chip cookie. Give them death. <clears throat> hey, watch it, punk. What are you, 80? He's the one trying to bring back disco. I don't have to be old to know it's not going to happen. <laughs> what it is, soul brother? My boys are going to make me breakfast in bed for Mother's Day. Well, actually, I'm going to make the breakfast and get in bed, but they're going to bring it to me. Oh, no. I know. And then they said the cutest thing last night. They said, Mama, because they call me Mama. Uh, well, you're going to be the fun police. OK, well, if I'm the fun police, then you're director of Funland Security. Oh, oh. oh good. More of this. More of what? What do you think? The constant bickering. It was cute at first, but, well, Abed explains it best. To be blunt, Jeff and Britta is no Ross and Rachel. Your sexual tension and lack of chemistry are putting us all on edge, which is why, ironically, and hear this on every level, you're keeping us from being friends. Jeff and I do not have sexual tension. We just argue all the time. Oh, just like Sam and Diane. I hated Sam and Diane. Who are Sam and Diane? OK, we get it. You're young. Oh, sorry. You see what you're doing to us? Want my advice? Pork her and move on. We did it all the time in my day. Yeah, well, you also put hydrogen in blimps, and that was bad. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Just a reminder, our spring fling is on the quad today. Music, food, activities, what, what? <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable. Mm. Still in the room. <laughs> There's also going to be a game of paintball assassin with a prize for last man standing. Or last man in a wheelchair with no paint on it. Or last woman. Give it a rest, Britta. Ugh. What's the price? It was a Blu-ray DVD player, but it was stolen. So now it's TBD. Hmm? I want TBD. Is that new? If it's what I think, I had it for about a month in the 70s. Let's get back to Britta and Jeff. There's no Britta and Jeff. He said, fully erect. Well, I'm going to let you guys figure this out while I go take a nap in my car. What are you waiting for? <laughs> It's hard to believe, but finals are here. And I know that during this stressful time, my voice blaring over a PA can't help, which is why for the next three days, you'll hear nothing but soothing sounds of nature. And to kick it off, here's a babbling brook. Will anyone back me up if I say this is ridiculous, or is it going to be another Avatar situation? I love Avatar. I can say it's an Avatar. Avatar. OK. Nature sounds or not, we're not going to have any trouble passing our Spanish final. I've transcribed this semester's notes from my digital recorder. You record every class? Spoiler alert. You mean nerd alert. Alert nerd. Here's a spoiler. We're all going to spend the next three days boning up, then pass the exam and move on to Spanish 103. That sounds like a good ending, Annie, except for the part where I take Spanish 103. What do you mean? Spanish 102 fills my language requirement. I guess I just figured we're a Spanish study group, so we'd keep taking Spanish together. That's what I yeah. thought, too, Annie. Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. I'm, in. Yeah, I'm on a tight four-year schedule to replace my bachelor's. I'm not going to take an extra class. Spanish has value beyond credit? Not really. I know the family downstairs hates me. 
I don't need to understand why. Okay, fine. You want me to say it? I'll say it. I like this group, and I want it to stay together. Oh, I think so. I like this group. Is that a good thing going here? Yeah, you be the cool guy, Jeff. And next fall, when that gets lonely, I'll be in the front row of a Spanish 103. Yeah, right. Right. Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. 6. And now, crickets. Thanks for a great year. Mr. Winger, I hope you will be seizing the day this summer. Thanks, Professor Whitman. And I hope you'll be seizing a more contemporary movie. <laughs> Looking good, Leonard. Stroke or Tai Chi? Tai Chi. Keep it up. And keep up whatever it is you're doing, Garrett. It's called chillaxing. Duh. Hey, what's up, Jeff? Hi. Hello, good morning, howdy. <laughs> Wait, Jeff, I'll walk with you. <laughs> See you. Uh, I got class in like five hours, so... I right, see you, babe. Sayonara. Going by I can't believe I made it through my first year of college. I finally get to click send on so many I told you so emails. Yeah, it's pretty great. Not much could ruin today. Hi! Oh, shoot, I forgot saying that summons him. Will you two be attending tomorrow's uh, transfer ceremony to send off all the students leaving for so-called real schools? There's a formal dance afterward. How many dances is this school gonna have? Five. If you come to all of them, you get one of these. I assumed your whole posse would be coming to the dance, having heard the exciting news about Britta. Banana Rhino. Yeah. Banana Sam Elliott. Oh. oh. LeVar Banana Burton. <laughs> Banana King Tut. <laughs> More like this. <laughs> Banana Penis. <laughs> sure, you would have loved him if he did. What? What's happened to you and me, Troy? Remember how hard we laughed when we first heard the term teacher's aides? Yeah. And then we found out a teacher did have aides. So what's everybody doing this summer? I'm taking the boys on a trip. Money's tight, so I hope I can convince them for one more year that motels are tiny little theme parks. Yeah, I got to find a new place to live. My dad wants me to leave the nest so he feels less weird that his girlfriend is 20. You could live in a pyramid. <laughs> oh, wait. Abed, your dorm room's got a bunk bed, right? Yep. Um, everyone has to go to the transfer dance tomorrow. I'm going. My friend Gary's transferring. Oh, good. Finally. Oh, I'll be transfers to hell. More importantly, our very own Britta Perry, it turns out, has been nominated for Transfer Queen. Oh, that's nice. What the hell is a transfer queen? It's like prom queen. You wear a sash, and there's a vote, and if you win, they put a crown on your head, and I'm so jealous, but I want to murder you. Aren't you excited? No. How did I get nominated? Don't let it upset you, Britta. It's the last day of the semester. Nothing can ruin that. Hi! Amazing. It's like an evil genie. Just spreading the news. Some folks say transfer formal isn't really rolling off the tongue, so we're just going to call it the tranny dance. Much more Greendale. Give me some more time and dream.